It's been nearly three months since the devastating fires on Maui and the phrase Hawaii strong extending to neighbor islands as leaders and residents across the state are doing what they can to assist in the recovery effort. KID 4s Aaron Coogan joins us live in studio to discuss the many opportunities for you to kokua for Maui. Yeah, hey, good morning, Julia. Well, I think that's the biggest question. How do I make a tangible difference, maybe living on Oahu or maybe living on the Big Island? Well, Kukua for Maui, the month-long effort, you know, making it really simple, shop and show aloha. I'm joined by Lieutenant Governor Sylvia Luke, Tambra Garrick. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. A month long to really pour our our aloha and, and our dollars to, to those suffering on Maui. You know, uh, we are so grateful for all the effort so far, but we really, as we go into the holiday season, we really want to focus on getting people to shop local. And the focus is not just on shopping local, but shopping shopping that help Maui's residents and Maui's people. And so with the help of the Maui Lahaina Town Action Committee uh, and the help of all the mayors, we will be bringing Maui products to all the islands. This is really cool because you're seeing, you know, all four mayors back something that is so important and critical, right? The businesses, the small businesses, what really make Lahaina Town, Lahaina Town. Absolutely, yeah. And for any businesses out there that um, are just hearing about this, if there's still time. It's not too late. You can sign up on Maui Nui first, register your business. You can participate in all of the events that we have across the state or just certain ones. It's sort of a case by case, whatever works best for your business. Um, whether you had a store, you have a service, wh whatever you want to talk about for your business and how the whole state and really the whole world can support Maui small businesses that have been impacted. I really like taking the month of November Member, which is usually giving month, right? Yeah. To really focus and, and hone all of our power as a state for Maui. I wanna talk about who's coming out. I know there's multiple events across all the islands. What can folks expect? You know, some really highly anticipated events. Yeah, so of course it's gonna be kicked off by uh, Made in Maui Festival yeah. this mm -hmm. this weekend. If you, uh, you wanna take a day trip, you know, we encourage you to just take a day trip to Maui this Friday and Saturday. It will be at the MAC, Maui Arts Center. And culture center mm -hmm. and so that will be on the third and fourth we are just so grateful to organization like uh, CNHA mm -hmm. and the food and wine festival they are doing a special edition of their conferences right on Maui CNHA conference will be in the middle of the month and Hawaii uh, food and wine festival they will have a special edition on Maui the one thing that I do want to highlight is on the 19th there will be a Maui specific uh, showcase at the NBC. So uh, in working with the Lahaina Town Action Committee, we'll be bringing hopefully about 100 Maui vendors wow. right here to NBC. <laughs> and so we want to encourage people to be on the lookout and then come to NBC and just shop. Tambra, you were mentioning how you firsthand experienced your, your storefront gone, right? And that's what so many people are facing is the reality of trying to re-kick up, re-kickstart, you know, their business, their life, really. So how important is it to be able to have these events, these showcases, to have a platform for them to start selling again and, and kind of return a little bit to normalcy? Yeah, I mean, it's imperative, right? Because the landscape of West Maui will change without these small businesses being able to survive. So we had a store on Front Street, Maui Pineapple Store, that supported multiple small businesses. So we bought products from all different types of small businesses across Maui and across the state and sold it in our storefront on Front Street. And we've been slowly being able to uh, bring back some of those products, add to our inventory. And so now we do need to get that product out to market. And like you said, the holiday season is the perfect time. Mm -hmm. um, I will say the entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well <laughs> in West Maui. I mean, Good. it's so inspiring to me to speak to business owners and they're really trying to figure out how do we pivot? What do we do? What are the opportunities? And so the feedback that I've received about these events has been overwhelming, positive, and the support that um, LG and, and all of the partners have made to uh, provide hotel and flight and car rentals is really going to help out the businesses. Lastly, before I let you guys go, Lieutenant Governor, we're talking about how this kind of coincides with the reopening of West Maui. How is that going to, you know, kind of help and start and kickstart what we need to see in the months and, and years to come? Yeah, the reopening is uh, an important component to Maui's recovery, but reopening without the support of helping Maui's businesses, helping Maui's people, helping its culture and heritage, uh, 
will, it has to be coincide and it has to work together. And this effort for Kukua for Maui does exactly that. It, it's showcasing not just Maui's small businesses, but it's, it's showcasing its people and its heritage. Well, a real team effort here. All of November you can help out and you can visit our website at KITV.com for a full list of Kukua for Maui events. For now, reporting live, Aaron Kubin, KITV4 Island News. We'll be right back.